Hi YouTube, welcome back to V channel. Today we will create an air spay engine that is ion thruster, which is using on the spay. And this engine develop much much more higher. It will become plasma engine. That is instead of ion can thrust with very high speed and high density, it will replace by plasma. Uh, why it just used on airship in space, not in the earth? The reason is it have a problem that's it when supply a square power supply, it should make rampart energy. So it use really really high supplying power. If talk about a strong point, it will have so many strong points. It's you 100% electricity. Secondly, it nearly have no sound. It's not produce exhaust film and have no any mechanical part to move like propeller. It have no any propellers. So it have a mechanical wearing. It will so long lasting. Okay, the first step, we need two electrodes, but we have the negative connect to the push tube and celebrate iron. We will cut this copper tube one half inch. Okay, after cut, we have lightest. We will rub on of them. If you have copper wheel, it's perfect. Uh, if not, you can use the wire like this. Another important part we need that is high voltage generator module. It will convert from 3 to 6 voltage to 1000 kV. Now we connect it lithium polymer battery. When supply electric, we will hear it have a sound and like this. In the voltage of 1000 kV, with the current near distance enough, it will discharge. We will base on the principle that it, the ion stream will move from the positive to negative electrode. So we will connect positive to the ion generator right here, and the negative connect to the tube. It will increase the speed and density to really, really high. So we will create the force. Okay, we will continue. Right here, we will connect the wire to this 7 nail. It will ion generator. If we can use the copper nail or cold copper, it will buff it. Okay, I will cut and glue through these nails. Okay, we have here supply power. With this distance, we can see that it's not discharged and have the wind behind. Now I glue. Okay, good. I will glue the switch. Now I turn off the light. You can see a iron stream. Stream. Now I will connect to higher voltage power supply. That is 8.4 volt. The wind blows so strong. Okay, we can see the wind flow clearly. Now, I cut a little bit to have better aerodynamic. It's a prototype version. We can increase the power of this boat in particular and this engine in general to very higher power. Okay, now I turn the power on. So, so you guys can see it begin to move and right here I just use 3 volt battery so the speed like this when we increase the voltage increase the power by connect much more modern the force will strong many times absolutely the boats can move faster many times the engine like this using in SP like Deep Space 1 it launched from 1998 
And why the spaceship use this engine? Is it because although the chemical fuel have the strong pulley, that is, it will generate really large force, but it limit about the quantity. So when used to fly its floor so far distant in a space like this, for airship can bring so large fuel, it will so difficult and not enough for many year trip a light space trip. Why the power should? That is almost no limit. That is the sunlight from solar panel it will supply for this engine. So based on that strong point, at the time, some spaceship of NASA still use this engine. But when used in the Earth, it have the problem that it is you much power why it have many many other fuel can replace so good but it can overcome by using nuclear reaction it will generate really large power from fusion reaction like using either army submarine like this it can be the solution for future maybe in the far future the human can use the engine use 100% electricity like this and can have much more developed to other apply okay thanks for watching if you see the clip helpful don't hesitate to click like share and can subscribe my channel see the clip bye bye see you next time